If you've been following this channel for any length of time, you know that I'm all about making things as easy as possible. I don't try to reinvent wheels, I don't overcomplicate topics to make myself sound smarter, and I'm perfectly happy to admit that I will take whatever shortcuts are available if the results are still good. To that end, we get to one of the most important and yet most misunderstood aspects of recording music, compression. And rather than have a whole lesson on how to properly use compression, I'm here to tell you that you really no longer need to. Like with so many other things in the 21st century, this is getting taken over by AI. I'll be back. You can either complain about it or get on board and appreciate that computers have made something else much easier so you can apply your brain power to the next problem up. And welcome to Music with Marky. Before we get started with the plugin here, I want to be upfront with you and let you know that Sonable sent me a copy of this, but they didn't ask me to say anything special. They just sent it to me to look at. And like with all of my reviews, I'm just going to tell you what I think. Thankfully, I don't need any free shit, so I get to be honest about this stuff. So I have a track here. I just made a quick like 16 measure loop, 8 measure loop. Oh, yeah, it's an 8 measure loop. So I'm editing the video here, and I realized that uh, in trying to explain compression to beginners, if you don't really understand what it is, that even better than the music example that I have is the audio from the video itself. So check out this like five, 10 seconds that I just showed you where I'm talking about the plugin, the bass plugin, and listen to how bad it sounds without compression. So I have a track here. I just made a quick like 16 measure loop, eight measure loop. Oh yeah, it's an eight measure loop. Right, it's awful. Compression saves the day. Anyway, back to what we're talking about. And it's got a, a bass part that I'm using, uh, easy bass to do. I didn't even play a lot of these parts myself. I'm just using plugins here. So I have easy bass and I've got a keyboard plugin for the keyboard background here. And I played, now normally for something that I want to show compression off with, I might do it with the voice, which is where you really need it from like slow or um, low tone stuff to stuff where you're really blaringly loud and you need to compress it out. But if you can't tell from the sound of my voice, I'm just getting over COVID again for the third time. So third time in three years, by the way, not like three times in a row. And so I didn't want to sing anything today because it was just going to sound like Kermit the Frog singing metal. <laughs> so anyway, I took this background music and grabbed my Acoustasonic Strat and played something with some dynamics where I was a little bit soft and a little bit loud. And we're going to apply a compressor to it. Now I'm going to use the compressor that's in the thumbnail and that we're talking about here, which is Sonable's Smart Comp 2, Smart Compressor 2. And this is the thing that has all the AI built in. And even if you're not using the AI, the visuals of this, the way it works, instead of having knobs that you're tweaking, just working off of these two lines like this is just brilliant. It's so much easier to use. I'm gonna roll the little mini track here for a second and just let you see what's going on. And then we'll talk about how the compressor works and then I'll show the AI part of it. And that's gonna be it, it's really quick, which is what we're about here, making things easy. I'm going to get really kind of soft here. Not loud. Okay. So I put the compressor on that acoustic track because I'm playing with some dynamics there to really show how it works. And what you have here are visual representations of what compression is which is very, at its simplest, it's taking things that are too soft and are getting below the background music or the background noise and bringing them up and taking things that are too loud and squashing them down, compressing, lows to high, highs to low. It's as simple as that. And the only kind of mysterious things maybe you might want to say that people don't understand or they have some trouble with that you don't really have to get too into here because the line moving the lines takes care of it is the idea of compression and how fast the attack of the compressor is and all that. But I'm going to let the AI take care of that rather again than going into this giant lesson about what compression is about. So I'm going to take, this is, I'll, I'll call it a guitar. We'll call it guitar acoustic, right? And we're going to hit the record button and then let the loop run. There we go. It just did the work for us. I told it what kind of instrument I want from a preset. I let it listen to it, and the AI decided how much compression to add to it and what style, what type of compression, what compression ratios, how fast to attack the compression, all these things that you might have to learn, but don't really have to if you're going to let the AI do it for you. So if we get to this like quiet part here, this is where you can really hear it working. I'll pull it back. Play that again. 
And when it gets loud, you can see it squashing it. So the basic idea here is what we were saying. We're taking the loud parts and squashing them. The soft parts are bringing them up. Not so much that it's unnatural sounding, although you can do that as an effect too if you want, but so that you can still feel the dynamics, but nothing gets lost in the mix or nothing is blaring out over the top of the mix. And with this plugin, without having to know what all that stuff means, I can do it visually. I can bring that line down to squash the highs a little bit more. I can bring the lows up a little bit. Create an hour line for things. But again, the AI picks a good preset. It's going to be very rare that you're going to have to tweak it very much. And of course, if you want to have the knowledge of what all those things mean and do things kind of old style and not put this to use or understand what you're looking at more here, there's plenty of lessons online about that. That's not what this video was about today. I'm trying to point out that you can make things easier and not reinvent the wheel and not have to have... You don't need to know how to build a cell phone to know how to use it. Let's put it that way. So there you have it. This software makes struggling with compression as obsolete as cars made well... If you have any questions or further comments, leave them below. I get back to everyone as soon as I can. And until next time, guys, keep making great music. Hey, friends, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. It makes the whole world better.